Welcome back to the Budget Gamer channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at a really unique indie called Toast Time. Toast Time is a really crazy game, and not only because of its insane breakfast-based British humor, but because of the unique combination of genres that makes up the game itself. It's an arcade-style, platform-ish, 360 shoot 'em up casual adventure. And yeah, the gameplay is just about as interesting as that mashup sounds like it would be. And even though the gameplay and story itself is really light, anyone who's a fan of those classic-style arcade games is probably really going to enjoy this one. The overall story is that some intergalactic time beasts are cruising through the universe trying to find spare time. And it just so happens that they found it in your Monday morning. And while this overarching story doesn't have much to do with the gameplay except for introducing crazy enemies to fight, it does establish the overall mechanic of how and why each level is timed, as well as establish a bit of a tower defender dynamic. Each of the 54 levels in Toast Time are timed to various degrees, meaning that there is almost a bit of a survival element to this 360 shooter, but as the enemies aren't actually focused on you, they're focused on stealing the clock, your main goal is to protect it until the time runs out. And while there are up to 16 different types of weapons that you can unlock, all with their own unique effects, defending this tiny timepiece is not exactly as easy as you might think. Our main character, whose job it is to defend time itself, Toast Time's Terry the Toaster, is a toast and breakfast breads launching recoil loaded assault machine. But unfortunately, his power is so over the top that every time you fire, it launches him across the screen. And it's this recoil mechanic that makes the gameplay not only unique, but incredibly difficult. The initial tutorial level of the game, if you're playing in single player mode, will work to get you accustomed to using the 360 launching dynamic to fling your character all over the screen, as well as teach you how to anchor them in space to be able to more effectively target your enemies. And these enemies themselves are nearly as diverse as each of the 54 levels in the game. Though this is a simple 8-bit visual style game with chippy music, each of the levels in the game will have its own unique time constraints, as well as its own unique manner in which wave combat takes place. Enemies may assault from the left to the right, both sides drop from the top of the screen or come in at any number of various angles in any amount of numbers. And obviously, as you progress the levels, these enemy assaults get more difficult, but that's not the only thing about the levels that changes. One of the more unique points about Toast Time that you might not notice at first glance is that each of the levels actually has its own music. And while it is chippy and definitely reminiscent of those earlier games like Burger Time, that extra attention to detail and diversity really does make the gameplay just that much more enjoyable. However, if somehow you do manage to crush every single one of the 54 levels in unique individual player mode, you haven't actually managed to beat the game yet. The developers have also included an unlimited Iron Man survival mode. So if you truly are a master at launching toast, or as you're just a glutton for punishment, this survival mode may be a little bit more your jam. Though where the game truly shines the most is in its multiplayer mode. And again, as with games like Timberman or One Strike, it's the uniqueness of the simplicity of the game design, matched with the difficulty of the actual game execution, that creates that really satisfying experience when you're playing in multiplayer mode. Overall, I'd have to say that Toast Time is a really fun casual arcade 360 shooter. But if that's not the type of game that you're already into, this one might not be your gateway. But on sale for $8 on the eShop and I think $4.99 right now on Steam, it's definitely worth at least checking out. But anyway, that about wraps up the review of Toast Time on the Switch eShop. So if you enjoyed the review or found it helpful, feel free to throw me a like or a comment to show your support. And don't forget to click that little bell icon when you subscribe to stay updated with the latest content. As you can see by Toast Time, new and unique indies are coming out almost every day. So there's always going to be something new to find right here. But anyway, this has been Budget Gamer, so as always, thanks for watching.